Welcome. Today we're solving this probability problem using the normal approximation to the binomial distribution approach. First, let's identify the parameters. The probability of success here is 1 in 4, or p equals 0.25. And the probability of failure q is 1 minus p, which gives 0.75. We're given a random sample of 20 students, therefore n is 20. Now, to use the normal approximation, we need to ensure that the expected number of successes np and the expected number of failures nq are both greater or equal to 5. Note that some authors require that these be at least 10, but we will use 5 for the descriptive purpose of this video. Plugging in the values, we see that both np and nq are at least 5 so the requirements are met. Now, for a binomial distribution, the mean mu equals n times p, which gives 5 in this case. And the standard deviation sigma is the square root of npq, which gives 1.9365. The number of successes x, or the random variable, is the number of students that drive to campus. For part a, we want the probability that at most 7 students drive, that is, p x is less or equal to 7. Here is a histogram of this binomial distribution with the bars satisfying x less or equal to 7 shaded. Using the binomial distribution formula or software, we can calculate the precise probability which will be equal to the total area of these shaded bars. But because we are using the normal approximation, we will be applying continuity correction. That is, we will be calculating the area under the corresponding normal curve up to this point, which is 7.5. If we calculate the area only up to 7, we will be excluding the second half of the x equals 7 bar, and thereby underestimating the required area. We will be transforming the x values to standard normal scores using the formula z equals x minus mu over sigma. Therefore, the probability that x is less than or equal to 7 with continuity correction will be approximately equal to p of x less than 7.5. Note that with continuous distributions, there is no distinction between x less than 7.5 and x less than or equal to 7.5. So this gives p of z less than 7.5 minus 5 divided by the standard deviation that is p of z less than 1.29, which gives 0 0.9015. Using the binomial formula or software, we find the precise probability of x less or equal to 7 to be 0 0.8982. We see that the normal approximation probability is quite close to the precise binomial distribution result. The approximation gets better with larger sample sizes. Next, we compute the probability that x is less than 6. If we were to use the precise discrete approach, this is the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. Under the curve here, we see that the end point of the shaded area corresponds to 5.5. Therefore, the probability that x is less than 6 with continuity correction is the probability that x is less than 5.5. On standardizing, we have p of z less than 0.26. And looking that up yields 0 0.6026. Now, using the formula, the probability that x is less than 6 is 0 0.6127. Again, our approximation is quite close. Next, for more than 3, if we're using the binomial formula, we will need to add up the probabilities of 4, 5, 6, and so on up to 20. However, with normal approximation, we start here midway between 3 and 4 and therefore calculate the probability that x is greater than 3.5. On standardizing, it gives the probability that z is greater than negative 0.77, which is 1 minus p of z less than negative 0.77, given 0.7794. Using the binomial distribution formula, the probability that x is greater than 3 is 0.7748, which is very close to the approximation. Next, between 4 and 8 inclusive, we see here that the normal approximation must start at 3.5 and end at 8.5. If this had been 4 to 8 exclusive, the discrete equivalent will be from 5 to 7, and the normal approximation for that will have consisted the area between 4.5 and 7.5.
Back to the inclusive case. On applying continuity correction and standardizing, we have the approximate probability that Z is between negative 0.77 and 1.81, which gives 0.7443. Finally, we have the probability that x equals 5 exactly. Note that if x were indeed a continuous variable, then the probability at a single point will be 0. However, we can perform this calculation here because x is a discrete random variable and we are applying continuity correction for normal approximation. In essence, this is the probability that x lies between 4.5 and 5.5 which results in a probability of 0.2052. The exact binomial distribution probability for x equals 5 is 0.2023. So the approximation is good. In summary, to determine how to apply continuity correction, you may want to draw a short sketch of the x value you're solving for on a line or histogram, along with the integer before and after it. Then you can visually determine whether to add or subtract 0.5 from x. Otherwise, you can use these rules. For x less than or equal to or x greater than, add 0.5 to x. For x greater or equal to or x less than, subtract 0.5 from x. And for x equals, subtract and add 0.5 to x. And that's a quick overview of normal approximation to the binomial distribution. Thanks for watching.